It did. So, I mean, I grew up reading Agatha Christie's books. I've always wanted to do a murder mystery like this. I had the idea for this about 10 years ago. So it's been a long time cooking in the back of my head. Um, but then, yeah, I just sat down to write it last January, and we had finished the movie by Christmas. It happens, we had wrapped the movie by Christmas. It happened so quick. So, uh, which I think was good because something this complicated, it's good to just kind of get it out very quickly so you don't get lost in the weeds with it. Yeah, yeah, it was, I, well, Daniel Craig signed on, and that was kind of the key. When he was the first person to sign on to play Benoit Blanc, our detective, everybody wants to work with Daniel. And so suddenly all these other movie stars <laughs> started joining the cast. And I started looking at the cast list and saying, oh my God, we really, we have an amazing team coming together here. It was fun. Yeah, well, it's, I had met Daniel over the years, and I think, you know, most people mostly know him from James Bond, so they probably think he's very stern and serious. He's such a fun guy. He's so funny <laughs> in real life. And so, and I knew he was an amazing actor with great range, and so I just knew he would have so much fun playing this character. I think you can tell on screen how much fun he's having doing it. And um, you're right, it's very different, and I think you can tell that he's enjoying that. Yeah, well, I mean, the big thing for me was setting it in America in 2019. I think so often when you see murder mysteries, even the, even the great ones, the ones that I love, they're usually period pieces, and they're usually set in England. So to do a murder mystery where you use all the great stuff, all the fun things about a murder mystery, but you use it to engage with culture right here and right now, that seemed very exciting to me. Yeah, that's all. I mean, for me, any, anything that's really entertaining also has something on its mind. To me, real entertainment is not just turn off your brain. Real entertainment means you have fun, you have a great ride, you have laughs, you have all the great stuff. And there's also some layers in there where you have a little bit more to think about. And with this movie, like I mentioned, being set today in 2019, it's like, Okay, let's talk about today. Let's have, when the family argues politics, let's have them argue the same things we're all arguing about. Um, again, that seemed to me like something that was really interesting. Oh, yeah, I mean, every big experience you have, and Star Wars was the biggest experience I may ever have in my life. You learn so much and you grow so much as a person, hopefully, you know, through any big experience. I mean, it, you know, it is very different going from Star Wars to this, but many of the important things are very much the same. And the things that really matter are the same, which is you're trying to tell a story that you love, you're working with actors trying to make the scenes work. You're trying to make sure that you connect with audiences, both with the head and with the heart. So it seems very different, but it's actually not. It's kind of the same tools.